Welcome back to the shop. So I want to do something a little different here today. Uh, I want to say thank you to all the truckers uh, out supporting the Freedom Convoy 2022. I just got back from our uh, local city here and the turnout was incredible. Um, this video may get taken down, but I just want to say a few things and I feel like I got a few things to get off my chest and I hope you all will uh, have a listen and hopefully understand a little more where we're coming from. There seems to be uh, bit of confusion as to what all this is about. So let's have a coffee together, have a little chat, have a little think about where we are and where we need to be. So for as long as I've lived in this country, it's been taught to us that you don't discriminate against, you know, race, religion, gender, age, whatever it may be. And in the last year, that seems to have gone out the window. I've never seen such a division in our country and I failed to see why part of living in a free country and you know our charter of rights specifically states you know each individual is entitled to their beliefs and their opinions and to make their own decisions um i don't see why one side needs to hate the other um instead of just you know perhaps having a listen seeing it from their point of view and you know at the end of the day it really doesn't matter as long as you're happy and comfortable with your own decisions I've seen doctors, nurses, uh, personal friends of mine who are nurses and work in the healthcare industry have stepped down. And, you know, that was a big eye opener for me that, you know, these people have worked hard to get where they are uh, with education, you know, and that education doesn't come cheap. To see those people step down and walk away based on what they've seen um, is sad. And I can't imagine how incredibly difficult it must have been for those who made the decision to step down walk away from their careers, their colleagues, and those patients that they work so hard to support and take care of. My heart goes out to you. But I also have the utmost respect for you for standing up for what you believe in and making a stand. And you know, my heart goes out to all the healthcare workers who have continued to work through this. Um, you guys are absolute heroes. Um, I know it's not been easy for you. You're running short staffed, you know, hospitals have been at capacity. But, you know, you guys are pulling through and we all need you. And we need your support. And uh, I can't say enough. You guys are uh, absolute heroes. It's been sad to see that, you know, our own citizens, you know, threatening that certain people should be locked up, taxed, have their benefits taken away because of their beliefs. And that's not what this country stands for. Regardless of your beliefs, regardless of your background, everyone is entitled. We all pay our taxes for our government to give us these things that we need. Um, and to say that these people should be locked up, um, I think some people need to pick up a history book. We're still mending bridges from the past, you know, the hurt and damages that we've caused based on those kind of beliefs. I've had to watch small businesses fail, people lose their jobs, their livelihoods, their homes. At one point I had to lay off my entire staff um, and I've never had to do that in my career. Um, especially at the busiest time of the year. I had to work by myself to keep our company going, um, make sacrifices. For a short time, I was living at work, working essentially 36 hour shifts through the night, taking calls in the middle of the night to make sure that our customers were getting the service that they deserved and that our company was able to continue on. And, you know, the property was safe and maintained. To the point that near the end, my own daughter was crying and begging to go home because, you know, she didn't want to do it anymore. But we had to do what we had to do. We all made our sacrifices. And it was tough for me having to lay staff off knowing that they weren't going to be able to make their usual incomes. They were going to have to make sacrifices, cut back on things, not be able to go anywhere, not be able to enjoy life. So it's time for us to all come together as a country, as we should have from the beginning. Um, I know we were all scared at the beginning. This was a big unknown, um, and I get that. But we've learned a lot in the past two years. We now know that you know there's a small, very small percentage of the population that's at risk. And we need to protect them, but the rest of us need to get on with our lives, get our businesses back up and running at full capacity to support our economy, to support each other, and we need to put the hatred behind. There's absolutely no excuse for it. It's been absolutely incredible to watch the videos of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people lining the roads, showing their support 
showing that we're all standing up for our country and we want to get back to our lives. As a parent, it's been incredibly difficult for me to sit back and think about, you know, the amount of memories I've missed out on, the birthdays, the family reunions, you know, just the day-to-day -day weekend trips with my daughter, to be able to make memories with her, to watch her enjoy sports, swimming, skating. She's not been able to do these things, and as a parent, it breaks my heart to have to watch her sit on the sidelines and wait. We have our own leader of this country looking down on citizens, making claims that, you know, they're extremists and that they don't stand for the beliefs of Canadians. If you listen to our national anthem, it's right there in those words, what we stand for. And that's what we're standing for today. So I look forward to us moving forward, standing together. Um, we will do this peacefully, but we will not back down and we will not give up. I will uh, always have a flag flying in my yard till the day I die. To remind me of all the people who have fought for the freedoms of this country and continue to do so, including those out there today showing their support. We're incredibly fortunate to live in this country and have the freedoms and rights that we do. And I think if we learn anything from the past two years is uh, to not take those for granted. There are people around the world that would die to have the freedoms that we do and we will not let them be taken away from us or infringed upon. So again, I want to say thank you to the truckers. I want to thank all the people, all the citizens of Canada who have stood together through these past two years, who have pushed through, doing everything they can to help each other survive. That's what this country is all about. I also want to thank those in other countries who are standing alongside of us. Uh, the United States has a huge following, stepping up, standing up for us. And uh, we have all got to support each other. Australia is standing in, Europe, it's worldwide now. This is absolutely huge. And we're uh, watching history in the making here. And I'm hoping for brighter days ahead and we can get back to start making some memories, living our lives and enjoying those freedoms that we've worked so hard for. So don't give up, don't give in. We are all in this together. We all have to work together and we will. So for those of you who've stuck around to watch this, thank you. Um, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below there to show your support for Canada and support for citizens around the world. As always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.